Hey everyone, welcome back to the exercise portion of the wholesome feed. So today, I thought I would go over some simple band exercises that we can do. Let me have a look. So these are just little resistance bands. Don't, don't, don't. And they come in. These just say extra heavy, heavy, medium, light. Um, my favorite of the heavy, and then a little bit of the extra heavy. <clears throat> oh. Whoa, are you stealing all the blankets? Hey, would you go put this on the fridge? Thanks, bud. So, one of the exercises you can do this day. <coughs> my just, da, da. Thanks, but go up on the sofa and I'll give you better. No. Is pitted around your calves <coughs> about yay oh. high. Stand up. Hands on hips. Oops. These do fall down if you don't keep the tension on. That's what this looks like with the <coughs> heavy size band. And then we're going to put on the extra heavy. And you can get these in different styles, different shapes. I just got these online <coughs> to test out and see. I've been using them for years now. Um, oh yeah, I bought them after I had, maybe right before I had my son because I was looking for, I think it was right after. Um, I was looking for abdominal exercises that didn't exacerbate that separation you get between the muscles after giving birth. And these and the lighter bands were really good for just light, light exercises to get me back in. I love you, bye-bye. Okay, you breastfeed. I'm gonna do the exercises. So legs apart, lean back, and, and you can pull these as much as you want. Don't go all the way out and then let them just bring you back. What you want is pull them and then slowly release tension so you're engaging your muscles on that side too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey Jeb, do you mind if I stand over here? Thank you, bud. And you don't need super duper workout gear for this. You could put a blanket on the ground to do this. Ready, my love? Oh, yeah, that. Oh, ready. Let's try this one. So, feet. This is at the base of your heels. Yeah, of course. A little harder to do when you're breastfeeding, but we can do it. And you're pulling back. Can you let go for one second? I just want to show them the full exercise. Ready? One. Keep your elbows out. And your goal on this is to feel it in your shoulder blades. So what you're doing with the resistance band is you're pulling this part here, which is, as I've said many times before um, on these videos and on my Patreon workout videos, that is an area that gets really sore, really exhausted. It needs to be exercised when you're breastfeeding from infancy to, you know, childhood, however old your child is that you're feeding. This is an area of your body that gets sore if you don't exercise it. It's a good area to focus on for breastfeeding mama. Mm Absolutely. I think you guys all get the idea of what this exercise looks like if you don't have a wild monkey. If you don't have a wild monkey. Oh yeah. Good job. Yes. So that's just a really easy way to use little resistance bands. Um, they're easy to store, even in a small space. You can travel with these. I've actually done that before when I've gone on a cruise. I'll bring these, and then that and some yoga and some jump jacks, my short little workout.
Because <laughs> the reality is for a lot of parents is that you're going to be working out with little toddlers around. If you have toddler age children, they need to be near you a lot and they want cuddles and attention. And it's not always realistic to have every workout be without your child. Um, I try to go to a gym that I join, let him play in the kids section that I can just see while I work out um, and get some more intense workouts in. Um, but at home, I also like to just, part of it is just getting a little bit of workout in every day no matter what I'm doing. And part of it also is to show my son that exercise is just such a normal part of your day. He puts these around his little ankles and wiggles and shimmies and it's great to introduce him so early that exercise is fun. You know, I don't want to ever suggest that people exercise. I don't until you're going to throw up or you're sore or you really you hurt something and the next day you feel it. That's not the point. The point is to feel better, to be healthy, to be a strong, fit, healthy you. It's not a dress size. It's not a weight. Um, it's not your pre-baby weight or can you get into your pre-baby pants. Um, guess what? I can't. There are a lot of clothes that I don't fit now that I'm a mom. Um, not because I'm some monstrosity of weight gain, although I have gained weight and I, I can't get rid of it while I breastfeed. Um, it's just my body holds onto it. But because my bones have literally separated, my rib cage separated a little bit and got larger, my hips spread apart more, I am just a different shape than I was pre-baby. And that has taken me a long time to be okay with and to not look in the mirror and go, oh, what happened? And to realize that, you know, I wasn't going to exercise it away, I wasn't going to diet it away. My, my bone structure had changed. And so I'm curvier and more, more mommy-like. Yes. I love you, my biscuit. Feel free and check out our Patreon page. Yeah, for all some exclusive content. And you can also check out some wonderful workout tanks and t-shirts on my Zazzle store with great silly parenting and breastfeeding humor that I've designed on there and just fun things. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, make that monkey. So until next time, thank you all so much for tuning in and watching and subscribing. It's you know we're we're getting close to the, um, the big subscriber number of 100,000 subscribers, and I'm I'm so excited to reach that marker. It's just a sign that you know there's interest and engagement in all of these these lovely topics of you know honest parenting life. I don't sugarcoat it. I don't say it's rainbow all the time. My house is clean and I'm fabulous. I have lipstick on perfectly all day. No, mm -mm. it is chaos and insanity, especially as a single mom. You know, it is, it's just insanity, but it's beautiful insanity and it's my insanity. <laughs> and, you know, part of kind of embracing and um, refinding myself and, cause you know, you do get lost in those baby years. I did and I was very much all baby all the time. And especially as a single parent, it's like just survive, you know, work enough to be able to pay all the bills, make sure my son's taken care of. And really this year, I've tried to focus on myself just a tiny bit. And exercise has been a huge part of how I've been reclaiming some mental and emotional space for me in my life. And that's been huge. Um, it's been, it's really helped me mentally and emotionally to reconnect with myself and be happy with myself. And be proud of my accomplishments and be forgiving of my flaws. That's been really beautiful. So until next time, thank you, YouTube friends. You're fabulous. Woohoo! Do you want to say bye bye? He's not gonna unlatch. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> can I get up and turn off the camera? Because you can have done it since open. Yeah.